That's not it. Mo, you need your glasses. Girl, that's the grinder story. Mo, yeah. Mo, we we need you to get no, your no, glasses. This is the story we had for her. Yeah, okay. This well, was we, the story we had for But her. we also had the Kate Michelle story too. Was it a video? Because we didn't have we didn't we I didn't go over this stuff with you guys yesterday. Well, we're gonna segue on into that <laughs> since it's up. This is an improv too, show. I, I do feel that the people <laughs> but I do feel that the people are constantly in a space of why is this still here? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> My fight is still here. <laughs> <laughs> what what's going on here? <laughs> what's what's the thing? <laughs> Do we need to refresh the page? Okay. What's this? Oh, here it is. I'm so sorry. Oh, I think he's ready. Oh, I think he's ready. Wait a minute, hold on. There's no internet over this computer. What's going on here? Oh god. Did we lose oh, god. Here? Oh, god. oh god. Oh god. Are we father. are we still here? <laughs> oh god oh god oh god wait, wait a minute oh god are we still here <laughs> wait. Wait. oh father wait are we there oh god oh we're somewhere do we still have internet connection can y'all see yeah. us can we we don't know what the comments are saying, Mo? Oh, because I was trying to the video. Oh, you ready? Okay. Well, let's do that and then we'll go we'll segue back into that. Go ahead. So Tamar, Cowboy Carter came out some weeks back, Beyonce's new album. What do you think about her moving the country? You know, I knew you guys were going to ask me about that. Did you? I did, I did. <laughs> I think that black country is so necessary. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. so happy I agree. that people with talent who can actually sing country music that our black people are finally getting the recognition they Agreed. deserve. That's what I think. And she's a Texas girl, she's country. Yeah, yeah. And you know, I, I just, I don't know, I just really appreciate Beyonce for opening the door for all the other mm -hmm. black artists that has, you know, rolled that wave behind the floodgates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just really appreciative for her. Agreed, that's how awesome. These people can really sing. They're yeah, so yeah, yeah. talented. Yeah. What's that one black guy who could sing, like he sings so low? Tony. Tony oh, Evans Jr. He's on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I really appreciate his artistry, man. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm great. sure he'd be good. He'd be happy to hear that. That's true. Yeah. I started following him because of <laughs> <laughs> I, I just to hear him say that thing is saying. Yeah. It's also another black. It's like two black girls I like. One little brown skinned little girl. That's Tanner, right? That's her real name, Tanner. I think so. But right. we we'll keep going. And then there's another girl who kind of looked like the Beyonce campaign. I know mm. you're you know what I'm talking about. I can't remember her name, mm. but yeah, she's talented too. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. But I appreciate it. I yeah. like it because it was a, a couple of people who should not have been singing country black music that was awful, and it was concerning for me. Mm. Care to mention a few? No, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not trying to be funny. It just didn't sound good. Yeah. Yeah. And you got to make sure if you're going to step into a new genre of music and represent us, that you gotta you gotta represent. Yeah, got to be right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, gotta be right. <laughs> now, 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 how do we know just devil's advocate? How do we know she's talking about Kate Michelle? No, how do, here, here's the thing. Um, ooh. <laughs> This was a good picture. All right. Let me say this. I haven't seen this in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen this about old Ray. <laughs> um now how do we know she's talking about Kate Michelle being on? But that's what the fans assume. Mm -hmm. The fans assume that. Yeah. The fans did that. Yeah. And so because the fans did that, you know, they it said something. Stirred. It did. And you know, K. Michelle is definitely going to respond. And I, see, I don't have, do we have any of her responses? No, we didn't get her responses. Okay. Because she put up a Muppet thing. Up, oh, really? Out, yes. I was like, yo, this shit is crazy. But you know, here's the thing. Hold on. I could try to see if I can find Now, I, I, I love this Beyonce album. Yeah. And, I'm, and I'm not just saying that. Bitch. That two, what is it? Two hands to heaven? Bitch. Bitch, that's my favorite song. Let me explain something Followed by you. that one with Molly Cyrus. Yes. I love Blackbird. I mean, it's, it, I, it, I, I really think it's, it's great. It is. But my, my, my point, though, is would a Tamar or somebody else 
if they didn't really like Beyonce's album, would they say it? Because it's it's not popular opinion to say that. You know what I'm saying? Like you see people in the comments saying, "Oh, you know, Beyonce is overrated." Da, da, da. But people who are in the public, they don't necessarily say stuff like that because it's not popular to say it. You know what I mean? And so it goes back to like other conversations that we've had where sometimes we, we critique black art or artists mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's sometimes, uh, it's sometimes um, construed as hate. Or in shade. And shade when sometimes it's not, it's just, it's just an opinion. Well, Beyonce and Parkwood made the statement of this is not a country album. This is a Beyonce album. And this is where I'm about to go with this. Before we got on the show, oh, we may have been on the show. Yeah. Um, I was saying that on Max, there's something called, what did I say it was called? Uh, the, uh, be, uh, it must have just got released. It did. But that shit was so fascinating that I, was, I told you, I'm a Beyonce fan for different reasons. Like, I don't count myself as like a beehive person, meaning like, you know, that I have all of the albums and, that, and I know all of the dance moves. I, that's not what I'm saying. I follow the way that that woman puts stuff together. It's it's crazy. You know what I mean? It's, like I like to see the behind the, the scenes stuff. That she the is. machine. Like, there you go. Like it's it's she's a she's a yeah a machine. I like to see the backside of of, of her stuff. And wow. so when I was driving over here, there's something on Max, and it's called. Um, uh, he was looking at it. Call oh, me country. country. And I was watching it. And I'm going to tell you what I really got from this. She said, I don't give a fuck what y'all call country. This, this is, is country my, to me. This is country because, bitch, I said it's country. And it's, and it's country, bitch, because I'm black and country music originated with us. Bitch, and I'm from Texas. Okay. I'll, 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 yes. I'll, that. Yeah. Okay. And I'm from Texas, bitch. Yeah. And, and, and like, I realize that Thank she's, you. she's using her influence, her power, her success, all of those things to open the door for any black artist to come through and say, bitch, I said y'all can come on through here now. I done made a way, bitch, come on through here. Th that's the way I see it, you know? And, and like I told you guys before, when I went to see her, it may have been before I went to see her, I flew to Houston to see it. But it may have been before that. But when I saw, remember when that all, video? Get all the slides? Yeah, yeah. When that video <laughs> came, they bad, from, ain't it? Yeah. When that video came, came went through, hard. <laughs> where she's, um, where she says, remember I said the other week where where she said, um, I'm grateful for all of the shit me and my husband's been through, and I'm grateful for the ladies of Destiny's Child. That whole little thing she said, I started praying for that lady then, because I don't think. And I've, and I've recently started keeping Amanda Seals close to my heart, too. Yeah. Because I don't think that we... I don't think we think about the heaviness of the weight that they carry. It goes like to what we were saying yesterday about Laverne. You and Laverne. Yeah. Because you were the first trans girl that became really famous for pornography and adult film and da-da-da-da. And then Laverne Cox was out there on um, that reality show with Diddy and then went on Orange is the New Black. Yeah, It's almost like the trans community expected you to be a certain way. They expected her to be a certain way. And Black people expect Beyonce to be a certain way. Yes. Black people expect Oprah to be a certain way. And the truth is... They expect Tyler Perry to be They a expect... Pop was that for me? It was. <laughs> I don't expect Tyler to be a certain way. I just want his work to be better. I just don't want to see the boom mic hanging down. That's it, all. It, it ain't. It, it, we'll, we'll talk about it. Okay. Oh, so, but uh, sorry, uh, Trey. If there's a video, if you have my Instagram, just send it to my. Just put the pictures up. We don't need all that. Uh, okay. We halfway through the thing now, and we're gonna go on to the Braxton. Yes, we have to. Where is that? That comment. We well, have I, as I black people, we have to take care of each other, and that's what I'm saying. Like when I pay it, when I when I think about how some of us did Whitney. And, and, and even a Michael Jackson, if you will. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes we just, the only way I can explain it, it's like, we sometimes live vicariously through our, our, our stars, our heroes. And because we're living vicariously through them, we sometimes want them to take the dream in the direction that we want to, want, want to them to take it in. Yeah. 
And the truth is, it's their dream. So they get to take it where they want to take it. You know what I mean? Right. And it's like, if you want to take your vision in a different direction, then you have to do that. It's like when people look at this show and say, well, why they got to do this? And I don't why understand gotta why they got to call it fag. Right. Why you got to call Well, why y'all over there calling? Why y'all? We don't. Get your cellular device. And make you a show. Bitch, be the change you want to see. And if you don't want us to eat on the channel, don't get on your channel and don't eat. And don't eat. Because, <laughs> bitch, when my mama sent a plate down here, I'm fucking it up. And we hungry. We come here entertain y'all for two and three and four hours. Four hours. Bitch, bitch we got to eat. We don't get no 15 minutes. Right. right. Nothing. Y'all ain't giving us no money. I got the pee right now. Only skin potions come through here, run us Correct. up. Correct. Run some change up on us. I got the pee right now. Go ahead, Craig. Go ahead and okay. pee. I'll hold it down. Can I go? Go ahead and pee. Okay. You don't have to ask nobody around here. <laughs> go pee. <laughs> and I'm about to pull my plate over here and bust my fish over. Okay. Hold on a second. You want your head itching? Yeah. Scratch your head. You ain't got to hit nobody. <laughs> oh, that shit good. Yeah, it was. All right. Damn. That fish is good. You know how good fried chicken cold? I just had some fish before I got here, too. Mm. So this is my second plate. Mm. What? Yeah. You eating again, nigga? Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't a big. It wasn't a big deal. It was just some, uh, some fish, like they say in England, fish and chips. Oh, you had that when you was out with the straights today. It's a good. It done got a little cold. Uh, really? Yeah. Turn it. Turn it off, Mo. Okay. Mo can reach it. Got a little cold. Mm -hmm. They probably well, the AC is on too. Oh, okay. yeah. See, I feel the AC now. Uh. So K Michelle responded. Yeah. Please post it. So this is how it's. I spy with my little uh, leopard. Oh my God! What is going on? This is terrible. Yeah, she was just. It didn't stop either. We have about a good seven more slides. Oh my God. This is awful. Go ahead. Uh the, the next one. Uh oh shit. Who I, said this? Okay, this, this is, yeah, it's the second part to what she said on the first one I just played. I mean, I I just put up. So this is the second page. I, I don't speak on her about her. We just aren't in the same circle. I don't think of her. She continues to bring me up in some way, throw her shade, then play victim. I'm just not going to keep playing with her. It's played out, but she will stop. I can overlook negativity all day, but don't keep poking at me, even at shows. I know everything you do and the fits you throw when I'm performing or asked. Everything. I don't say a word. I'd be quiet and saying, there's no reason for you to continue subs and jabs. Oh my God. For you to continue subs and jabs it's like you have to be seen even if it's shading and negativity bitter betty live in your talent not in your drama oh. lesson i had to learn and worked out for me i have a right to defend and be sick of your shit. i finally say in front of everyone leave me alone or else oh. i stand on that you should try it you're nine year nine whole years older than me you should set an example of some sort now go play victim Oof. Yikes. Now listen. <clears throat> oh, you don't oh, you, go ahead. What's oh, the next one? It's something else? Okay, that's the that's the that was the first one, one right? There, there's somebody that's also well, I think one of her fans, I guess they tagged her at it. And they're basically saying We've that. Been down that road. Oh. Oh. Mm. Go ahead, Ma. I don't like that. Then she has more to say here. Now I'm going to going back to into my place of slumber, peace, and positivity. I have some goals to accomplish, and I'm grateful for every blessing I'm receiving. I could go there, but I'm going back to minding my business and singing these songs. I've grown, I've healed, but I'm not weak. Leave me alone. I'll turn the other cheek, but I'll slap yours first. Oh, shit. And then Tamar. Reply. Oh, Tamar did reply. She said, I, I absolutely was not. I said, a few artists. I paid homage to Beyonce for bringing positive 
attention to country music, there are people who I don't address and don't mention in shade to keep mess away. Where was all this chatter when my song went number one? I mind my business and go to work. The last, but not, well, last and least. I wasn't speaking about you. I would have said your name. I was speaking of country black music that I have heard before I didn't, before that I didn't enjoy. I wish you the best on all your future endeavors. I only want to beef with the devil, the end. And that's it. I don't know. And again, like I said at the top, like how do we know she was she was speaking about K. Michelle? I, I you know, I know that the fans kind of drummed that up and sent that to K. Michelle or Tag or whatever, but I don't know. Uh, shit. Um shit. I mean, I would hope not. You know what I mean? Shit, Craig. That was a lot. It was. God damn. That was a lot. <laughs> And that's what I'm saying. Like, I love Tamar. I love her music. I just feel like some ways, and again, I don't know if she was in if that was intended towards K Michelle or but not. But can I, uh, can, I, I don't know. can I just really quickly step in and say, have you heard K Michelle's country music? First of all, that bitch sings. Have you heard her country music? I've heard like the pieces that she's put out. Yeah. Bitch, she there, hasn't put out a full album yet, right? There are she's getting ready to. Right. She's put out singles. I mean, people something. in the comments were saying it was good. There are I love K Michelle's voice. There are songs that she has that sound really good. The girl sings. Yes. And there are songs that I said, okay, now this fits. This actually fits. Her voice mm -hmm. that I was like, shit, this shit mm -hmm. sound good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And see, that's what I'm saying. When Beyonce put this album out, it definitely opened the door for K. Michelle, even though K. K. had been working on putting out a country album, but she's she was getting a lot of pushback from labels and Nashville. And so now that Beyonce has done it and has done it successfully. I mean, I hate to say it, but you know, entertainment is a band bandwagon kind of business. Like once they see somebody's able to do it, then they want to replicate it. But then there's people that are one of one, though. But my thing right. is, she's I've listened to it to some of the stuff from mm -hmm. her, and it's it it sounds good, right? And Beyonce sent um, flowers to K. Michelle. Yes, I saw that. And so I don't know. Listen, I got people that I'm gonna never fuck with to the end. That if it's, I don't like Tasha K, bitch, don't bring her up because I'm gonna tell her up every time I read her, her husband, her children. <laughs> I'm and I'm, you know, now I'm not really a Just fan, so, and I try to stay away from that because I don't want to go down that dark path. Because I will read her, the Butch Queens that she was dating, her, the, the new baby. I don't want to do that. So I be saying y'all don't even bring that stuff in my area because I'm on that type of time. Mm -hmm. And I don't give a fuck because ain't nobody gonna whoop me. Right. You understand what I'm talking about? And so that's why I, I be like, there's just some people who you don't who you ain't on, on that on that type of time with. Mm -hmm. And so maybe she see Tamar and she just ain't on, on that type of time. Anything that they she think that is directed to her, maybe is she just not on that type of time. She's she's just triggered by stuff that that's what you're saying. Maybe she's triggered by stuff that maybe not be intended for her from Tamar. But my thing is, I feel like all of this public fodder and stuff seems to precede Tamar's music. Like, I think people see her more, I think when people think about her, and I could be wrong, I think that when people think about her, they think about her reality TV stuff and her her bickering that happens in, in, the, in the spotlight. Before they think of her music. Speaking of the reality TV show, now more is the time. Now, now, Mo, now, now. Oh well, I, I delete. I had to delete something to get that in to get this stuff in here. <laughs> well, you need to put your glasses on, keep keep boo pookie. No, I I just I okay. Well, delete that because we don't we ain't talking yeah, about that. I have to delete all this. Before yeah, go ahead, go ahead, man. We, we just one second, y'all. Let's just think. Mm 
Really? Craig, can you help my wife and go delete that other stuff that we talked about already? Because he can't really see. I can see, but I'm, I, I have to get... I don't know why you wear your glasses at work. <laughs> Is it because it's not a real job to you? <laughs> but Friday, your check be clear, right? <laughs> Do you have a darkest pay? You know, 2024. Yeah, I think you should dock his pay, you know, when he fucks up like this. Go fair and just delete the stuff we don't already talk mm-hmm. about. Did we talk about that? Mm-hmm. Okay, did that too? Help mm-hmm. him out. Mm-hmm. Help him with the pillars roller. <laughs> this is the story right here okay. we were talking about. We, you were, hey, all right. So, <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Mo. We do. Because I just I just put it in. There. Okay. Yeah, we know. We know. <laughs> we were watching you from here. <laughs> Help him with the pillars. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they gonna tell you up in the cup. I promise you. And he can say, "I don't give a fuck." I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Shall they tear me up too? Today is just your turn. <laughs> um, right. but now they were tearing them up. That, that of course, We TV is bringing back the Braxton family value. I will say that I watched every single episode when it was on the air before. I I, I believe that this is their flagship show that they should return back. I. I love We TV and I love We TV, TV for the opportunities they give me, all the opportunities that they give me, and the opportunities that they will be giving me in the future. But I just feel like that Mama June. Has, Wait, what, girl? I feel like Mama June is real. Uh, before that. Oh, all the opportunities that they're going to give me in the future. Uh huh, that part. I feel that Mama June has ran its course. Girl! We TV, if, if y'all don't take that off the air, or just slide us. Either before or after, probably after, because so we can. Mama June, uh, it's just mm. is that Middle America, girl? That y'all keep talking about Middle America. Is that middle? <sighs> y'all shouldn't have put us behind loving lock up hip hop, whatever that is, hip hop, love and lock up. No, lo- love after lock up. No hip hop. What were we after? Hip hop. Oh yeah, uh, growing up hip hop. Growing up hip hop. We should have been on after Mama June because that's an alternative show over there on Friday. I told y'all okay. this when we were talking about the lineup, but that's another story. But go ahead, go ahead, Craig. We talking about. This. But I love the Braxton family values. Now I'm I'm just gonna be honest with you now, Craig. Come on now, don't bite your tongue. I'm not. I get a call if I get one. I'm just trying to ch- choose my words. Pardon me. I do think that they were a, a little unfair to Tracy on there, though. God rest her soul. Um, and that's what a lot of people were saying in the comments. They were tearing them up in the comments. They were like, what y'all coming back for? The way that y'all treated Tracy on here was 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 unmentionable. Um, I don't know if they're coming back to make good on a bad deal that they had from before. Because one of the things when they were on before was they weren't getting paid the way that they should should have gotten paid in comparison to the Brax, I mean to the um Kardashians. Kardashians. Right. But but a couple things are at play. First of all, We TV ain't got the kind of money that E has. Right. That's where where the Braxtons were. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So you can't act, expect We TV to pay you what what E T V is able to pay the Braxtons. I mean you mean I mean the, Car- the Kardashians, Kardashians, yes, I'm sorry. And and then also, if we're going to be honest, the viewership is different. Was different. The Kardashians were getting a lot more viewership. Well, because it's 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 the 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 tube is different. Correct. The, the tube is different. Correct. It's a different. It's, they're pushing it out to to a different tube. Correct. You know. And um and so like I said, I watched every single episode of the Braxtons, and I remember when um Tracy was the only one that filmed. Because that's when they were going through their contractual shit with the Braxtons were going through their contractual shit with We TV, and they were trying to get them. They were trying to force them to pay them more money, blah 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 blah. And so they were like, "Well, we're not filming today." But Tracy showed up, and the way that they alienated her—that was one of the instances. The way that they alienated her because they felt like she went against them, and you know, I mean, but. I mean, there were just there were a lot. I mean, I know that these dynamics do happen happen in families. We're not going to act like sometimes that doesn't happen in our families. But it was just kind of hard to watch on TV. It was kind of hard, you know what I mean? Like, because 
first of all, if, if I'm being completely honest, I do feel like Tracy still had um, some leftover feelings about them going on and making it. And she was a, a, a young mother. She had gotten married. That was the choice that she made. Those are the choices that she made for her life. Uh -huh. And even though she said, y'all go ahead and do y'all thing, I still think she felt a way. And not to say that it was their fault that they went on and you know lived out their career and did what they did. But I just feel like because their lives went on and did other things and they, you know, they experienced other things. Tracy was still back home in Maryland. And even though she was living her life, but here's the thing, Tracy was the only one that, that had a marriage that lasted. So it's like, you gotta, you gotta look at, you know what I mean? Like they may have had the success and the fame, but she had the family life. She had the family life. She's the only one that like when she passed away, she was still married to her husband. I loved her. Yeah. I, I loved her. And none of them sustained in a relationship. You know, so it was almost like... Tony in a relationship now, ain't she? Yeah, now, but it with didn't who? sustain. What I'm saying is Tracy she, is, she was a, still with that her, same man. No, she's not in a relationship. She said they're not in a relationship. Oh, not, oh I thought they were still together. I'm still wearing your name. You know, wearing so, your name. I don't know. I don't know what this, what this <laughs> reboot would look like. But it's, 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 you know, what's sad to me to me also is how that reality show tore their family apart. Found myself a good man. <laughs> I'm over you. <laughs> Why are you such a mess? <laughs>